I am so excited because I am here at the Waste Management Phoenix Open and I'm here with Shelby. We're gonna have a blast yes. with zero waste. Yes. So this is the first night and we are at the very fancy dinner. We were offered a bunch, a bunch of wine. And now I've got myself some tab. Are you gonna get anything, Toby? No, I'm okay. She's good. First night we ate at Toro and it was this awesome event. I loved everything. And one of the things I really noticed during this event was how few animal products were available. And I didn't see beef at all the entire time, which I thought was a really great sustainable step. Tomorrow we walk a lot. Tomorrow we walk a lot. Not really today. Today's the forum. Yeah. It's day two and Shelby and I, I are guess. headed to the sustainability forum. And last year, I loved this day. It was so much fun. Learned I a lot, huh? learned so much. And yeah, it's gonna be great. We're gonna have a good time. The forum was absolutely amazing this year. It was so big. It was twice the size that it was the previous year. We got to hear from Jim Fish, the CEO from Waste Management. John Kerry stopped by to give a keynote and there was another great panel with CEOs like Mark Benioff. But one of the things I loved most was that there were no plastic bottles on stage. Instead, everyone was drinking out of real glasses. So we just got done, there's Shelby. We just got done with the first half of the conference today. Now we're off to lunch and I wonder what to have for lunch. I'm very excited about lunch. I feel like most of what you're going to be seeing in this vlog is just me eating because they had such good food, so many amazing vegan and vegetarian options. I was so incredibly happy, so well fed, and honestly, it has been one of my favorite parts of attending this event. Vegan chocolate cake oh, like, oh, is speaking my language. Yeah, yeah I actually... This presents a very interesting problem. Why aren't all recycle bins made from recyclable material? It seems intuitive. Shelby and I just wrapped the packaging and policy breakout session that we went to, and it was a really, really interesting discussion. And I think my main key takeaway from the forum this year is, are you really recycling if you aren't buying things made from recyclable materials? When it comes to recycling, of course, we need to first reduce, reuse, and then when we're recycling, we have to make sure that we're supporting those systems. <laughs> And then of course we had a dance party and it was great. And even though Shelby didn't want to dance, I got her to do a little jig. Shelby and I are about to head to a tropical inspired event. So I wore one of my favorite dresses, which is a vintage dress that I really like. I'm gonna try to bake on whether or not I'm going to be super cold. And she's filming me right now. I'm pretending like I don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> And whether or not I'm going to wear this sweater or my denim jacket, I think either way I'm going to freeze, so. Phoenix, all I want is for you to get warmer, okay? So this event was so much fun. The food was amazing. There was sand actually everywhere. And there's the cutest little dessert cart and table and stage because Dirk Bentley shows up to play a set. Okay, so there's this very, 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 very adorable bus and it's a photo booth and we're going to go take photos. You can sit in there. Yes! Oh my god, it's actual sand. Corn, um, cauliflower gratin, fingerling potatoes, and these veggie kebabs that are just bomb. Feasting, feasting on this trip. Thanks. Excited to be here. Thank you so much for the introduction. We'll learn some songs and have a good time. Good morning, day three, and I'm super excited because today we are going on the facility tour and we're going to go see the green scene. And apparently there's a place where you can golf or you can chip cans into a recycling bin. I'm excited for that. Me too. You'll be good at it. I'll try it. <laughs> I might, I mean, it's a can. But before we make it to the golf course, I have to say hi to my best friend. Hi, I'm so happy. Now we are finally on the golf course and this is where all the magic happens. This is a huge, huge event. It is 700,000 people and they keep it completely zero waste. 
There is not a trash can in sight on this course. It is only a recycle bin and a compost bin. And waste management hand sorts every single bag to make sure that there's absolutely no cross contamination. These bins are set up in a very specific way so the openings have a hole specifically designed for the items that are received on course. One of my favorite things in the green scene this year was this game called Recycle Right. And you're trying to score baskets. Each basketball has a certain item on it like a can or an apple core. And the goal is to make sure that you're putting the right basket basketball in the right bin. It's called gamification and it's a great way to get people involved in subconsciously realizing what materials go in the recycle bin and what go in the compost. Now this is the back of the house and as you can see everything is color coordinated. White for compost, green for recycling, and blue for back of house. There are some trash that can't be avoided in the back of house, things like gloves or plastic wrap, which is sanitary, and waste management takes that and puts it to a waste to energy facility. This event is certified by a third party to be zero waste, which means they are limited on the amount that they can send from waste to energy. And I believe that is under 10%. So everything is recycled and composted, which I think is a pretty amazing. And before anyone gets upset about it being on a golf course, they use 100% recycled water to water the course, and this event is water positive. They catch all of the water from the back of house, and they use it for the portalettes. As well, they're restoring over 50 million gallons to Arizona's Verde River Valley, making this a water positive event. The sustainability forum and the being on course and seeing everything that they're doing to sort recyclables. I think the most important takeaway of Recycling Right is, of course, to make sure that there are no liquids in your recycling. If you have a can or a soda bottle or a water bottle or literally anything, you need to tap any of that excess liquid out. It's so easy to get paper contaminated. So we want to make sure that our recyclables are clean, our recyclables are dry, and that you're checking with your waste management company, whoever handles that, to make sure that you're actually putting the right thing in the right bin. Well, this has been so much fun. I am going to sign off and my family is actually here. My aunt lives here and my mom came in and a little extended trip and a family get together. So I'm gonna see you guys next week with a new video. I hope you give this a thumbs up, subscribe, press that big red button and I will see you next week. Bye. What is going on? It was hot out there and my eyeliner's everywhere. I love natural makeup, but man, sometimes when you're really sweaty, it doesn't work out so well. Oh yeah, I look like a, I look like trash. But at least I didn't use any today. What what? <laughs> there you go. I can do that.